Welcome to the 2021 DCTC Inverhills Virtual Gala, celebrating success. Good evening, and welcome to our annual Spring Gala for DCTC and Inverhills Community College. We are so thankful that you're here with us tonight. This is our first ever virtual gala, and while we appreciate the technology that we have bringing us to you, we wish we were all in a room together celebrating and supporting students. I agree, Kim. This has been a challenging year. You know, we had to cancel our annual gala last year when we would have had the opportunity to celebrate 50 years of the amazing work that our colleges have done. And even though so many aspects of our daily life have changed, I am so proud of the work we have done to keep students' needs in our hearts in, in, as we work to, to pivot and, and provide our education and support services in different ways. Our faculty, our staff, our administrators have been amazing uh, in holding fast to our mission, even as we've worked hard to, to provide support for our students in new ways. And so to those of you who are watching tonight, we want to, you to know how much we uh, appreciate you and the amazing work that you've done. Tonight, we're celebrating all of you and our successes this year. And congratulations to you, Michael, on winning the 2021 Phi Theta Kappa Paragon President Award. Nice job. <laughs> and as Michael mentioned earlier, this has been a challenging year, but through it all, we have stayed student focused and our students are struggling. They have lost their jobs. They have moved to online learning and some of them are even becoming teachers in their own home and educating their siblings or their own children. So tonight is about them. We're here to support students. All contributions made tonight will go to help support students reach their academic goals and create a better life for themselves and their families. We are so grateful for the individuals and community partners who provide support for the work we do at our community and technical colleges. They provide support for students who are moving directly into the workforce or who are continuing their education. But in both cases, they come out with significantly less debt than so many of their peers. Here's just a sample of the support that we've been able to provide our students because of generous donors like you. We've been able to provide 460 scholarships to our students, totaling just under $400,000. We've also been able to provide just under $60,000 in emergency assistance grants. These grants help support our students through financial barriers to make sure they can stay in college and complete their education. We want to thank you for your support. Tonight, you will hear firsthand from our students about the positive impact that you have had in their lives. By donating or purchasing an auction item, you will be part of our students' success story. We also want to take a minute to thank our event sponsors for, for kicking off our virtual fundraiser and, and moving us ahead to reaching our goals. Thank you for all of your generosity and support. Things are a little bit different this year, so pay close attention. There are a couple ways you can support us using the website on your screen. It will be showed several times throughout the show, so if you don't get it right now, you'll be able to get it later. Two ways that you're able to support us tonight. One is through our auction item. We have amazing online auctions, so head over there, bid high and bid often. We also have access to Donate Now. You can just click on the screen, the Donate Now button, and select an amount that you would like to give. New this year on the online auction, you can set a maximum bid. So kind of like on eBay, um, it's a way you can set it and forget it. Don't actually forget it because I have a feeling you might be able to pay just a little bit more to beat out the other bidder. We also have an option of the chat feature tonight. So use that, please use that as a way to give us a sense of community, like we're all in the room together. Chat about what you're feeling, if anything's inspiring you, or maybe that online auction item that you don't want anyone else to bid on. Well, now it's time to get on with our show. So it is my pleasure to introduce our two hosts for the evening. These are two individuals who really understand community and technical colleges and the value we create for students, employers, and community partners. And so th these are individuals who really understand student success. And they really are committed members of our foundation boards of directors. And so it is my pleasure to introduce our hosts, Jake Sedlisak and Joel Trinkle. All right, welcome everyone. We're so glad you can join us this evening. Joining us tonight, we have students, friends of the college, staff, faculty, board members, alumni, and did I mention community partners? 
We are so pleased to be with you tonight and hope to have a fun event planned. Now our performance tonight starts, okay, well, yeah, it's, it's not really a performance, it's more of an event, but we are here on the Inver Hills Community College stage. The school has a vibrant arts, music, and theater program performing three plays a year, including one for local elementary youth. Some of the works that they've completed are Rapunzel and the Frog, Lend Me a Tenor, The Seagull, and several works by Bill Shakespeare. Uh, William Shakespeare? You know him. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for being here tonight. The purpose of our event is to raise money for our students through scholarships and for emergency assistance. And we hope tonight to raise $60,000. And we hope that we can do that with your help. There are many ways to support this event, including making a general donation or by bidding on one of our many silent auction items. And I'd like to highlight one for you right now. It's a three night cabin stay. The cabin has four bedrooms and two baths and it's located near Cross Lake, Minnesota on Horseshoe Lake. It's the perfect safe getaway for a couple or for your family. So we urge you to go to the website and bid on that item or one of our many other silent auction items. In the next video, you will learn more about Ziegler Corporation. We are so grateful for their participation as a premier platinum sponsor for this event. Dakota County is really taking an interest in getting involved with students at the high school level today to try and promote more inclusion and more equity and, and driving more towards the trades and two-year programs instead of a, a, the transition into a four-year college. Dakota County Technical College mission is really to provide these students to, to help them develop the skills for employment and for life ultimately. And one of the things that we really value in our industry is the ability to have just, pro you know, you have problem solving skills, but really be passionate about what you do. Uh, we're seeing a continuous workforce shortage in the trades, and it's really important to build these partnerships to, to help these, these students develop their skills. And uh, we hire them as interns at Ziegler, where they have real life opportunities to be involved in the industry and utilize that while they're learning at school and coming to work at Ziegler. I started here shortly, well as an intern, shortly after I started at DCTC and then was an intern for about a year and then got hired on and before I even finished school. Just from my experience with partnering with the college and having interns in our business and hiring them full time, I think it's extremely important to work on a way to develop those partnerships with the college and it really is going to support your industry and your business in the future. I feel it's important to represent our industry and my company at Ziegler on the board to make sure that these programs are robust enough to continue to prepare these students for the industry. Uh, we also have a number of folks at Ziegler that are involved in advisory boards at the college. Uh, we also provide sponsorships to the students, uh, provide a lot of donations and equipment to the college and we hire a lot of interns through the college as well where again they have the opportunity to get that real life experience while they're attending college and if they're interested they have scholarship opportunities and in the end become permanent full-time employees at Ziegler. I'm working on this 836 uh, rebuild it's a landfill compactor and uh, this is the uh, implement valve right here I'm just going through it and resealing it yeah, it's pretty satisfying work. I mean, when you take something like this and pretty much make it brand new again, so. Well, it's a little bit reminiscent to go back into these colleges from, from my own experience. Being in, the, being in a technical college and being interested and passionate about the trades in general. Uh, these classes are still full today. It's fun to see these uh, instructors passionate about the industry and what they're trying to help these students develop. Uh, it really, really warms my heart, actually. We are celebrating success with tonight's virtual gala for Inver Hills Community College and Dakota County Technical College. Every couple weeks, I hear from another person that I know that is a parent, like I am, that is having to put their goals on hold due to um, the ever-changing world of the, of the pandemic 
and everything that that entails and you uh, financially supporting me has made it so that I do not have to do that and that is a very very huge gift um, to me and my family. Um, just through the journey of just going to school it is so hard. My car breaks down, um, gas fluctuates. There's so many just like <clears throat> we're in Minnesota so it's definitely rougher roads um, and things like that so it's definitely tough. Um, I've had some family situations unfortunately run into that this has helped a lot with financially wise so it's been an honor to receive one of these things and I just think that it's such a great opportunity for all students. The scholarships that I received helped to ease the financial burden that I was continuously facing from student loan debt and countless medical bills. At the time that these scholarships were awarded to me, I was dealing with a hospital acquired infection on a chemo drug and working multiple jobs. These scholarships helped me to pay for tuition and books and allowed me to have extra money to buy groceries. It has been a serendipitous ride these past two years being enrolled in the paralegal program. I was able to meet a great group of paralegal students at my first intro to contracts class. One student in particular helped me to obtain a full-time position at Thrive and Financial. I was recently hired this November as a legal investment specialist. Come this May, when I graduate with my paralegal certificate, Thrivent will officially give me the title of paralegal. Because of this fantastic job, I no longer need to work multiple jobs. It's such a blessing. So I really appreciate anybody who is helping participate with this and you're helping people like me who could have worried about it and who instead can just enjoy these moments in my life. I am a non-degree seeking student at Inverhills Community College and I am in my first term. I am also the recipient of one of the Upskill at Inver scholarships that allows people to just try something new, which was perfect in my case because I am an elementary school teacher and I am considering making a career pivot to becoming an art teacher instead. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't want to invest tuition into something that might not turn into career. So the ability to try something new without the risk of losing money is really a valuable thing. And in my case, it's really helped me because uh, taking these art classes at Inver Hills has confirmed for me that I am on the right path and I'm taking the right direction. I now have the opportunity to become the first person in my family to attend college. Um, I'm very pleased and appreciative to learn that I was selected as the recipient of this scholarship twice, 2020 and 2021. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much to the donors for your support. It was a really rough semester for me and all the money I had received from a grant, loans, and the scholarship had all been used on tuition, needs for my children. If it weren't for you, our situation would have been so much worse. Please donate to help those in need. I wanna thank the donors because really you have made a lasting impact on my career and on my students. I also wanna be frank that uh, I chose Inver Hills because it was the most affordable option. But what I was surprised to find was that the instruction was really exceptional, which makes an education at Inver Hills an outstanding value. So I have been telling people I meet and people I know what a great experience I'm having at Inver Hills, and I, hopefully I will be sending students to you in the future. I hope that you will continue to give so that students like me can achieve our dreams. I still have a great deal of student debt from my undergraduate degree. I sincerely hope that with your generosity, you can ease or eliminate another student's debt by rewarding them with scholarships. School is expensive these days, and I desire nothing more than for people to understand that and to give generously. Thank you. All right, welcome back. We have moved now into DCTC's Brewing Lab. Now DCTC's Brewing Program began back in August of 2015 
and students enrolled in the 21 credit certificate learn about important aspects of brewing science and engineering, management and service. Now some of our alums who have completed this program have since gone on and started their own business. Perhaps you are aware of Third Act Brewing in Woodbury, and that was started by DCTC alum Steve Long and his wife Deb. Also, the Schmitz brothers are planning to begin construction on a brewery this spring in Rosemount. We'd like to take this moment very directly to say thank you for all of our donors. Thank you for helping us to reach our goal of raising $60,000 for the students of these two great schools. Don't forget to get on your silent auction and make sure that you do not get outbid. While we'd love to be together to celebrate this evening, we're just not quite there yet. Uh, that does bring a thought to mind, though, that typically you would be paying for a ticket and drinks and all, and all of that. So if we look at the, the money out of pocket, you got $75 for your ticket, you know, $20 for, well, maybe if Joel's with us, $30 on the drinks, and then you have to put a factor on here, and then there's... Uh, Joel, do I carry the three or the seven? Carry the higher number, Jake. Got it, all right, so, okay, well, let's forget this. Let's say that you're saving by being home tonight in your garage, wherever you're at. I think it's safe to say you're saving about $10,000. That might be a bit much, a little high. Uh, so how about this? How about we think about that $75 ticket and consider that kind of the baseline for donations for the evening. This year, we don't have any program expenses. So when you think about that $75 donation, every last dollar of it's going directly to benefit the students. So for every dollar that you contribute tonight, you become a part of a student's success story. Not only for the monetary support that they need, but also by giving them the confidence that someone believes in them. Tonight, you can make that difference. Looks like Jake is getting some work done in the brewing lab. I got a beaker. That's a graduated cylinder, Jake. Nerd. Look, we have many reasons to celebrate tonight. The college community and our students have endured some challenging circumstances, but despite all those challenges, great works are still being accomplished. Thanks for that, Joel. By the way, I think the beaker is clean enough. One great way to support our students here is by bidding on silent auction items. We hope that you're bidding often and bidding high. One item that we'd like to highlight is the Traeger 22 Pro Series Grill. Uh, smoker, pellets, cover, even a $40 gift card for Vaughn Hansen's Meats. We know this is something that will make your summer special, and I can, I can smell the smoke from here. So one more reason we're here tonight is to celebrate those organizations and individuals that help to make our schools great. In the next video clip, we're going to find out who is our community partner winner this year, as well as each school's employee and alumni award winners. Congratulations. When Whitney came to Rosemont from Wyoming, she had packed her bags not knowing a soul here or having a place to live. She ended up on the Minnesota All-Academic Team and was highly active in various clubs including the Lions Club Board of Directors. She volunteered at the Mike Augustine Scholarship Golf Tournament as well. After graduation, Whitney moved to Huntsville, Texas following her dream. Her responsibilities as an event planner at Sam Houston State University are impressive planning events for 3,000 graduate students, orientation, student appreciation week, plus smaller events for groups of 75 to 300 students. Whitney oversees all social media platforms, postings, maintains the website, and creates publications. The Open Door has been instrumental for both campuses since 2013, when we first began the Mobile Pantry Food Program. At DCTC, the Open Door proposed changing to an open mobile pantry model, where the bus would be available to students for shopping any time during a three-hour period. With this new model, we no longer need to complete intakes, thus eliminating steps for students so they could get food with no barriers. 
in April 2020, we needed to adapt how we offered food for students. The Open Door worked with us to keep providing food on campus for students to pick up. The Open Door also provided information for other food distribution options for students. Randy has worked hard with our students who need extra support in the classroom. Being a strong advocate and working closely with other offices and departments to best serve the students of Inver Hills. Randy has also done incredible work to improve the environmental sustainability and carbon footprint of our campus, chairing multiple committees in an effort to improve our campus and how we impact the environment. Randy also led our campus to become a B campus and is creating new ways for students to connect and mentor each other. Randy is such an asset to our campus community and to environmental justice efforts. When Dave was a student, he was part of Rusty Mitchell's Business Booster Club. The BBC helped launch the first Inver Hills Alumni Association, and Dave came up with the idea of Inver Water. He donated the bottles of water, which raised money for the Alumni Association, and organized a fundraiser for business students to attend an out-of-state competition. Dave supported Inver Hills through other fundraisers and has introduced community business leaders to the college. Dave has a strong network in the St. Paul area business community, along with a successful business career. Anne had the additional task of transitioning the Student Affairs Division of about 40 people to work remotely while continuing to effectively serve students. She has also worked to maintain limited services on campus, such as phone lines, getting mail, food support, computer labs, and more. Anne always goes the extra mile. She's a true leader and prioritizes people first. Anne is most deserving of the recognition due to her leadership and steadiness this past year. No job is too small for her. You can make a difference. Please support us tonight by making a donation or bid on one of our wonderful silent auction items. We found success this year in our faculty's ability to pivot and adjust teaching styles, allowing some classes to continue in person. Students enrolled in the Emergency Medical Services Program met on campus at Inver Hills, as did students in DCTC's heavy-duty truck technology and exercise and sports science programs. Yeah, we'll get donations from, well, transmissions, engines, trucks, parts, even damaged components we can use. So if somebody has a rear axle that is torn up, we can still, they'll still donate that to us and we're able to use it as like a, a failure analysis. We try to keep everything. Yeah. So we can reuse it, if it gets bad enough, then we, we can scrap it, but we'll take pretty much any kind of donation that will allow us to, uh, the student to actually see something in the real world. You know, half these trucks have been taken apart a hundred times. So it's nice to get something that's new and it's a real world vehicle, a real world truck. I think they choose it because um, there aren't very many programs like this offered and we have everything that they need to get their first two years done if they're looking to transfer and everything they need to really learn what it's like to be in a real fitness facility or working in a community center if that's what their goals are. Well, exercise science is one of the few programs on campus that has a transfer pathway. So students can transfer to several of our sister institutions through Minnesota State uh, seamlessly. So it's a 60 plus 60. And our uh, AS degree in sport management also is a 60-60 with uh, Mankato State at this point. And we'll be extending that to other four-year colleges in the area as well. What's the goal of wound packing? So let's say we've got a severed artery that's deep in the tissue, right? Primarily we would want to do a tourniquet, but maybe we're in a junctional, towards a junctional area and a tourniquet kind of isn't going to be the thing. We can end up in a situation where we cannot control this type of bleeding. So we wound pack. Now take this knot and keep pressure, get some more ready, and then this next one goes in. Everyone see how you're kind of stitching it in like a sewing machine? Carl, 
Ember Hills Community College is proud to feature an emergency medical services and paramedic program, as demonstrated by having an ambulance right here in a classroom. Enough room in there, Joe? Yeah. All right. Uh, we are also fortunate to have four actual ambulances for students to practice their driving skills, as well as learning to work inside of a moving vehicle. This is a field with a lot of demand. Uh, there's a lot of career opportunities for here, and we want our students to walk out the door uh, best prepared as they can be. Uh, we're also very proud last year to have one of our program graduates travel to New Jersey to be part of the pandemic response. So in many ways, 2020, well, it really wasn't the best year. However, our schools did produce reasons to celebrate. Sue Flanagan with Military and Veteran Services at Inver Hills received the first ever Outstanding Service Award from the Minnesota Army National Guard Education Services Office in February 2021. Also, Michael Richard, our Associate Vice President of Equity and Inclusion, won the Distinguished Diversity Leadership Award from Minnesota State Colleges and Universities system. So of course these awards are great, but what about the rewards? Have you checked out the silent auction yet? Your bid is supporting the students. Why not get a little reward for that? We have many fun items to choose from this year, including comedy tickets, and couldn't we all use a little more comedy in this year? And don't miss a unique and priceless item. You may or may not know this, but President Michael Barrett is also a very fine baker and will provide one lucky bidder. Well, you don't have to be lucky, you just have to be a bidder uh, with three pies, a choice of apple, blueberry, or pecan. And I can tell you firsthand that pies are a perfect pairing with food off the grill. Next, I'd like to introduce our student speakers, Nabil and Dahlia. They are a very personable, energetic, and driven couple. Nabil is at DCTC's electrical construction program and Dahlia is at Inver Hills engineering program. They are juggling marriage and two children and work all while going to college to help fulfill their goals and their dreams. And they are like many of our students at these colleges. Here's their story. Are you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so he works full-time job, three nights, right? Yes, yeah, three, three nights. nights. And I do two part-time jobs. One is online, completely online, which is the tutoring, and the other one is the cashiering. He struggles because he does an overnight job, and I work my other, like my cashier part-time, uh, mostly in the morning, and he's got to carry the baby and be awake, <laughs> so. <laughs> When I gave birth on August 8th for my second baby, the school was going to start in a couple weeks and I was gonna give up. I was gonna stop for like a semester or two, but then uh, uh, Professor Joan Carter and Professor Angela Gallant, um, uh, Professor Joan Carter is the engineering and um, Angela Gallant is for math. And they stepped up, they're like, don't give up you're almost a graduation you like just get them done and you're gonna be able to do this it's gonna be a lot of work but we're gonna help you and uh, <laughs> it was amazing that makes me emotional every time I think about it because like if I didn't do that or like if they didn't step up for that I wouldn't have been like transferring right now you know they were like available for me whenever I wanted them or needed them and uh, they would say like it's okay if you if we're outside office hours you can ask us any time just email us and I would email them in weekends and they would respond not all instructors do that I mean Inver Hills and I, Dakota County College are very famous with their um, instructor availability in five years I uh, well I have I hope I have only two years to get graduated after I transfer and maybe I'll do a master and a PhD and um, I'll work. I'll work nonstop. I'll work full time. I want to do that because my kids are going to be older. Yeah. I see myself and after five years holding tools, start my job and ready to get a master A in, in electrical master A. I am lucky I have my husband is working full-time for us but there definitely has been some times that 
he couldn't be able to continue working for a bit of time. Uh, I myself stopped working for a while and with scholarship money we kept going. I mean I'm really happy I'm transferring and um, it's, it's an important step uh, from um, our generous uh, scholarship donors to keep doing that and continue supporting students. It gives us a step further and gives us a way to complete our dreams. Jessica, what do you think about your mom and your dad going to college and working so hard? What do you think about that? I think it's great and when I'm big, I'm going to go to college so I can be a scientist. Are you proud of your parents? Yes, very, very, very much. <laughs> do you think you can be a scientist without going to college? No. Do you think college is important? Yes. Yeah, it's very important. What an incredible couple. Nabil and Dahlia have bright futures. Enrolled full time, raising two children, and juggling jobs. Remember, they are the reason that we are here tonight. To ensure ample support for our students and to encourage the next generation. Welcome to DCTC's Dental Assistant Laboratory. For those of you who may not know, Diana Sullivan the program director, helped develop this space and its curriculum back when she started in 1994. And outside of COVID-19, the dental assistants here will invite their family and friends for teeth cleaning for further hands-on training with their patients. If you would like to support the dental assistants or of course any of the other students here at these two great schools, you can always click online to give a general donation. And yes, I believe that silent bidding, silent auction bidding is still up and running. We're so pleased to have the individuals and industries that really understand what these schools are, the impact they're having in our communities. Uh, we thank them for their partnership and for their financial support. Next, we're going to hear about Cindy. Cindy has decided to create an endowed scholarship in honor of her mother. Cindy was a student at Inver Hills Community College and is a proud member of the Alumni Association Board. It was life-changing for me, literally. And I tell everyone. I'm the only person in my family that has gone to college and graduated. Um, so that meant a lot to both of us. It was sort of like I was able to live her dream for her. The day of my graduation in 2011, it was actually May of 2011, um, my mom had my brother bring her two hours early so she could sit in the front row and be next to the stage so she could see, so she could see me. And during the whole ceremony, she kept looking at me and smiling and she said, I'm so proud of you. And it was the proudest, happiest day of my life. I got, I got more than an education that I didn't expect. A lot of the students that I took classes with, we have stayed friends all these years. And we supported each other and helped each other through. As a matter of fact, um, one of my classes, one of the gals came up to me and handed me a scholarship form and she's like, you need to fill this out. And I'm like, no, I won't qualify. And she said, everybody qualifies for something. And she encouraged me to fill it out. And because of that, I did. And it was super helpful because I didn't know really anything about scholarships or even that I would, you know, that would be an option for me. And it was so helpful. It helped me pay for books. It helped me pay for classes so I could take more um, and move faster through the system. So, yeah, I, I was pretty impressed with the whole program. It is worth going back as an adult. And I, trust me, I came back kicking and screaming because I did not think this was, I'm not a person that had a love of learning <laughs> before Inver. And I said, mom, how would you feel about me starting a scholarship in your name? Um, because she really believed in higher education. She really believed in paying it forward and, and helping people. And she, so my mom had Parkinson's. So showing emotions was not, a normal thing and her eyes got really big and really excited and 
she was just so happy. She said, I would love that. And um, in 2016, when my mom passed away, I used her insurance money to um, start a scholarship at Inver. And I'm so excited to someday meet the person that will get All right, Belinda Lee, Belinda Lee Harder Scholarship Award. And it's just a nice legacy that will always live on for her. Give money for scholarships and give money so students can further their education, further their goals, um, because it, it helps so much and people just don't realize, even just, you know, the books can be hundreds of dollars. You know, so any little bit that people can contribute just helps that person get that much farther. And it's just, it's sometimes it seems like a little thing, but it's really a big thing. So I just, I would like to encourage as many people as they can to please contribute to the scholarship fund. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. We're gonna wrap up tonight's gala in the DCTC Atrium, a bright and beautiful place, and is one of our campus lounge and study areas. And every fall and spring, the campus open house takes place here, as well as the 2020 National CTE Letter of Intent Signing Day. Well, hopefully next fall, we will once again be filled with students studying and conversing and engaging together. The silent auction continues until 8 p.m. tonight. So please keep an eye on your favorite items. There's a lot to choose from, including golf passes, a smokeless fire pit, wine classes, executive vehicle travel, jewelry, gift cards, and many, many restaurant gift cards. Thank you. Thank you to our donors who donated before this program, those of you who are donating tonight, and even those who might be watching this at a later date, you, your gifts are always welcome. They help us contribute to the success of these schools and to the success stories we have with students that come out of these schools. We hope also that you'll, you'll help spread the word about these two great schools. Make sure that people know the great things that are happening here and the great students that we are putting out into the community. We'd like also to say thank you to our sponsors who have helped make this evening a success. Thank you. And now President Barrett and Executive Director Kim Schaff will conclude our evening together. Thank you, Jake and Joel, for leading us through a great program tonight and helping us support student success. All of your contributions tonight are helping our students reach success. And by giving tonight, you're becoming a part of their success story. Michael, weren't their stories so remarkable to hear from the students and what they're overcoming and navigating through in their lives to reach their dreams and their academic goals? They are remarkable. And they're a representation, really, of, of our, all of our amazing students and the, how hard they work and how important it is for us to come up alongside them and support them in their journeys. Um, I want to thank also our event sponsors. Uh, it, it, your partnership has been instrumental in the kind of work that we can do for students. And I want to thank all of you, all of you who have donated this evening. I mean, the investments you're making in, your stu in, the, in our students will really make a difference in their lives. I also want to extend my gratitude to all of you. You are truly making a difference. And I also want to encourage you all to stay in touch with us. There are a couple ways you can do that. One, simply call or email us. All of our contact information are, is located on our websites, and you can go there to find that. Another way is to follow our social media sites. We do a great job of keeping you in tune with that, what's happening on the college, with students, with our alumni, and the community as well. So follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or Twitter. Michael, what's your Twitter handle? At President Barrett. So follow Michael. He has some amazing content out there. I'm going to have to step it up. <laughs> No, we really are very excited. We're coming into the end of the year. We're going to have our virtual commencement. We're also going to have a, a commencement parade at each of our colleges. And so an opportunity to celebrate the great work our students are doing. Um, so we also want to make sure that you stay connected with us. And so if you would, please follow us, uh, as, as Kim mentioned. 
Uh, and as we come into the upcoming year, we're going to be really doing some amazing things as we implement our new strategic plan. And we'd love for you to be part of that work. So thank you again. And as we wrap up tonight, just remember that all your contributions are making a difference in our students' lives. And you are a part of their success story. Um, I appreciate all the time I get to work with all of you. And for any new supporters at our college, I look forward to meeting you all in person. So. Although we're apart tonight, I look forward to a year from now being together in a large ballroom celebrating our successes and supporting our students. So on a final note, I would encourage you to continue to contribute. contribute. Our auction goes until 8 p.m. tonight, so once you log off here, make sure to go over there and check out all the amazing items over there. Thank you so much for being here tonight, contributing and supporting our, our students. We really appreciate it. Have a great evening.